Okay, we are now recording. Uh, this is the Package Manager's Week of Sync, December 12th, uh, 2019. Uh, I guess we can start with um, IPNS. Uh, Adin? Uh, the unmute button. There we go. All right. Uh, landed the uh, PubSub router PR. So we are like, we can basically call this quits after we uh, land the IPNS PR into Go IPFS, uh, which is there. Uh, needs a review. I will rebase it on the updating Go Mod PR thing after uh, we hit the merge button on that one. Because, yeah, dependency shenanigans. But otherwise, like, looking, looking like we can go use a thing. OK. Uh, Dirk, it's what? Yeah, so uh, Stephen made a proposal for extending the GetFlux API. So at the moment, it takes an array of CIDs. <clears throat> and the idea to take a channel just makes it easy to request a lot of uh, a lot of ones um, without like spawning a bunch of Go routines. So uh, Adin, you might want to have a look at that. I'd like, like to hear your thoughts as well. And then in the meantime, I'm looking at implementing uh, all these proof of concept changes I've been making in JS bit swap. So I'm just thinking like how to go about that in a way that doesn't create a giant PR. So I can do it in steps. Uh, sounds good. Is it possible to do the uh, the server side changes first? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's okay. what I was thinking of doing. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Unix v v1.5. Alex. Um, so I'm. The changes I've made are bubbling up to the top layer of JS at the moment. So that means writing uh, interface tests uh, that will allow us to assert that um, the HTTP interface and the CLI interface perform in the same way, or at least the core performs in the same way. Uh, I got a bit of sidetracked because all of the interface tests were on fire because like most things in the JS ecosystem at the moment, everything is being refactored from top to bottom. Uh, and yeah, Pedro just needed a bit of help. Uh, to just uh, you know land some of those changes, so they're all in now, which is great. And I spent the day writing the interface tests, uh, and they should hopefully be in a state to get merged the next day or so. Any questions? Uh, no. Excellent. Um, are you willing to go on and make it happen and go next? Yeah, as long as you're not in any rush. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get the. Uh, We'd love the to Amazon have more Prime. Go developers. This is the plan. <laughs> okay. I'll get the uh, Amazon Prime delivery for the Go book. <laughs> Go is actually, it was designed to be a very simple language. Um, yeah. Uh, but there are a couple of works. Okay. Uh, add performance. Uh, PRs are merged except for the last one. Uh, so, yeah. Basically that. Okay. I, I guess also yeah, just some funny. news that for funds, I, I ran I ran it with like the latest version on my Unix machine, and it is it is running like three times faster than it did before. So oh, that's awesome. Nice work. Yeah. Ta -da. Okay. Yeah. No, I just tried it with sync disable today. I was like, yeah, that's a lot faster. It's like. It's still, I think, twice as slow as they're adding, like just copying from like dev random or dev random. Um, but yeah. Well, that I think that might just be because you're copying from. You have to read and write on the same disk. Yes, it may have been the same. Yeah, it may have been that. Yeah. Because um, I tried it. I compared it to copy paste, and it was like for 40 gigs, it was like eight minutes to copy paste and nine minutes with IPFS add. Oh, okay. Excellent. Or were you doing it on our disk or are you doing it on SSDs? Uh, hard disk. Okay. You know, I was trying an SSD and it was still only like two X lower. Uh, but yeah, I was doing it from the same device. I could try it from a different device. Well, no, I can't. I don't have a different device. Uh, but okay. Uh, so JSFS ad performance. I broke this out into a separate thing because it's really a separate initiative. Uh, Alex, I know you're working on something around this. Yeah, no, I missed that. Uh, yeah, so that's. Uh, 
being merged right now. Uh, oh, it's excellent. Been okay. the, yeah, so the flags have been merged into HTTP client, uh, and I've just updated the PR uh, to JSA okay. reverse itself to pull those flags in as well. Excellent. So hopefully that's going to go in as well in the next day or two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Badger by default. Uh, yeah, this is kind of blocked. Um, basically, it turns out that, uh, so, okay. Uh, there's a new version of Badger, Badger 2. Um, I looked through the issue uh, list, and there are a couple of very scary issues. Uh, so I'd rather not update right now. Uh, my concern is if we go ahead and like just ship Badger 1 right now, then we're going to be stuck on an old unsupported version uh, until Badger 2 stabilizes. Um, and then we'll have to do a, a disk mic or a data migration. Uh, we could do just do that and say, screw it, we'll just switch to Badger 2 and then do another migration later. Or sorry, we could release Badger 2 as the default uh, and say, look, if you're using FlatFS, don't bother migrating. Otherwise, for new repos, use Badger 1. Sorry, Badger 1 is the default, use Badger 1. Um, but I really don't want to force people to, do, like, or force people on stable to do like two migrations, like stable with latest, update with latest. So, and supporting both Badger 1 and Badger 2 at the same time. Actually, it should technically be possible. We can look into that. Uh, so I don't know what to do here. If we can support both Badger 1 and Badger 2, then this is not an issue. We can just ship Badger 1 and then like upgrade Badger 2 at, at our convenience. Yeah. OK. Content-based research improvements. Or talking yes. about uh, so uh, still in the process of actually figuring out what exactly we want to do here because there is unbelievably much uh, written on the subject already and uh, I am still discovering things that I haven't seen before uh, in terms of you know, papers that I haven't, haven't run across. Um, I also spoke up to a bunch of different people with what their expectations are uh from um a cut and chunker and what the use cases they have in mind and uh all of this is still bubbling in my head uh with a whole bunch of post-it notes here behind me <laughs> uh that i am hoping to uh solidify into a document here is what we are actually trying to achieve uh, and have it ready by mid tomorrow ish uh, or early thursday uh, and that's how far I am. That's good. Uh, let's see. I will try to take a look as fast as I can. Unfortunately, I'm currently in uh, Switzerland, so in a hack week, so my turnaround time may be a bit slower. No worries. I, I actually haven't committed to anything yet. It's uh, it's okay. All, uh, oh no, but you said that you were going to uh, do something by tomorrow. Like I'll try to look yes, at it as yeah. soon as I can. But yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, I'm actually going to tag a bunch of people on this okay. uh, because I will need input from from pretty much every Excellent. working group stakeholder anyway. So yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Try to leverage. Um, well, ideally, Eric as much as you can. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, wasted waste two hours of his time already yesterday. Excellent. Okay, uh, fix the DHC. Sorry, I just added this at the last minute, and I see Adine is rapidly yes. filling it out <laughs> uh, because the the ASIC data source stuff is getting close to being purged. So we're starting up with the actual you know, goal of this quarter to fix the DHC. Um, uh, well, we race fix or making test ground work enough to actually determine if we fix the DHC. Yeah. So uh, I just like trying to figure out, like I guess priority of things and, and what is the right set. Um, the four things that I have listed there are, Raul asked me to help Arsh land the, um, uh, being able to like persist your peer store to disk kind of mm -hmm. thing so that we can, we don't need to hit the bootstrap nodes every time. Yep. Uh, then there's these two PRs of, uh, let me search instead of the whole DHT, just one part of it. And then the other half of that, which is, but like actually keep searching until the end of that part instead of giving up. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also this like maybe use multi hashes instead of CIDs so that the CID v1 stuff isn't super sad. Uh, and so I guess the question is like, what is the right way to prioritize my time here? Uh, and well, so is the, the multi hash thing easy or is it, am I like diluting myself? 
I think you're actually right. I, I think like just switching to it is actually pretty straightforward. The concern is that it will kind of break uh, like rendezvous for everything because we use CITV1 for like pub sub rendezvous. Uh, so like it'll create two different networks. At the end of the day, it's not the end of the world because like you kind of just need to find one node and if you end up with two swarms that eventually find each other, then they should like slowly merge in theory. Maybe, I don't know, we don't actually- with the, epi, with the epi sub stuff they should, or the gossip sub 1.1 stuff they should. Yeah, um, so yeah, it may cause some problems with effectively like, you know, uh, protocols are still experimental, um, technically, uh, but I don't think there'll be like terrible problems. And we also don't, oh no, actually we just merged the whole rendezvous stuff. This is previously done in GoIPFS itself, right? The whole bootstrapping? Like in the yes. last release of GoIPFS, okay. Um, uh, yeah, well, okay. no, it was so done in pub sub router, but now it's done in pub sub. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's better just to break this now, like ideally before the release. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, like your, your point there about, look, just why don't we just not change the interfaces and just like make it happen is correct. Like we can just totally um, uh, basically use multi hashes right now inside the system and then just like change the interface, fix the interfaces later. Uh, and if we do that right now, then like we, we basically future proof us. Uh, we don't have to do this in the future. Uh, Alex, you're the only one here who might possibly have an idea of how JavaScript does this. Um, when JavaScript does content routing, sort of, if it does it, uh, does it use the multi hash or uh, does it use uh, CIDs? Good question. I'm just going to look that up. Okay. Uh, so like, I, I think actually JavaScript already does, it already uses CIDs or if, or sorry, already uses multi hashes. And if it doesn't, we should just change that. Um, I don't think like, the DHC is not really functional, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Uh, because like if a node asks, uh, another node to do delegate routing, go, we'll just do whatever it does. So it should be the world. Okay. So yeah, I, I would, in terms of priorities, I would look at, um, like I look, okay. Ideally, just landing the uh, landing ours just PR first would actually be kind of nice. Um, we're just prioritizing reviewing that so we can land something that's already there, uh, and it is something we've kind of wanted for a while. Uh, uh, CIDs. Uses CIDs. Uses CIDs. Okay, we need to change that. Uh, could you file an issue somewhere? If possible. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I, I land Arsys PR first just because, like, well, it, as long as it doesn't take too much time. If it takes too much time, like, if, it, it's, if like, we find design issues that we have to go back and revisit and figure out, like, don't, like, it's it's not the highest priority. Um, after that, uh, I really feel that um, to, like, fixing 219 is kind of a high priority um, because, like, that, that's going to be important for actually fix, fixing the DHT. Uh, fixing that is the, the whole, uh, the fixing the query logic itself. Yeah. Is going to be important. Uh, 204 is incorrect, so be careful about that one. Um, it's not the correct implementation of uh, of um, parallel yeah. paths, public paths. Um, uh, but yeah, basically, like adding to, uh, adding the features that we're we we're, were trying to hit with 204 into 20, or 219 is probably a good next step. Um, the multi hash fix, like if you can just turn that out, just like make it happen, which should be possible. Just submit a patch, and we'll just like quickly run it by roll and accept it. Um, I don't see why we would object because it's mostly an IPFS issue. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, like that's like that's kind of like a, like don't make it a high priority, but just kind of like do it if you can find a, like a time slot. Um, and am I doing all these changes on top of master or stabilize? Master. Uh, yeah. Well, so okay. Um, the 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 persistent PR store do it on master. Um, the other one do it on stabilize. We'll have to somehow eventually merge master and stabilize, um, but that'll be a more complicated thing. Uh, but like we're gonna be doing most of our testing on the stabilized branch. Uh, so basically, like that's what I'm saying, like the, the persistent peer source stuff is stable enough, or sorry, shouldn't like affect the network. So we should be able to merge that to master and then rebase stabilize on master, or merge master into stabilize, which we've done several times in the past. Okay. All right. So. Network things, stabilize other things, master, master. we'll yes. figure it out later. Okay. Yeah, and then, well, ideally merge back into stabilize. This I think we've done this a couple times. Uh, merge, merge master to stabilize. Yeah. Yeah. And then eventually we'll rebase stabilize of master to get rid of all those merge commits and then merge it back in. Okay. 
uh, sorry, this is, I started this late. Um, could someone create a Zoom meeting room for this meeting? If someone here understands Zoom. Uh, or even better, is anyone in this room like interested in running this meeting? Because I always like you know, like to start it on time. Uh, preferably someone in a time zone that's less. Sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that any more of the meetings, right? Hmm? What's up? Um, like how many more of these meetings are we going to have? Because it's, it's now December 10th. Yeah, you're right. Um, well, I guess the I meeting is just going to get rebranded or something now. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're probably going to like make a some kind of, well, either a go meeting or just like make the core implementations meeting the core implementations meeting. Um, yeah. There's basically one more of these on the 17th, if anyone actually shows up to it. Okay, fine, never mind, forget these. Uh, we'll just do this in my room again next time, uh, and then we'll figure it out later. Okay, thank you all. Sorry for being late again. Uh, that is it.